Um, my lords, there was a, an occasion in the last session when it may well have been the noble uh, lady Baroness Kennedy of the Shores made a speech that was so impassioned that the late Lord Cormac looked at me as the next speaker and said, follow that. And I said, I shall try, and uh, sadly, I failed to follow it very effectively. Today's debate is clearly one that is very heated, and yet, as the noble Lord, Lord Moylan said in his opening remarks, it is a very small bill. It is setting the framework for a committee. And it is a committee that is supposed to be evidence-based, building on scientific expertise, changes in light of scientific and medical knowledge. From sedentary positions, from the opposition front benches, I've been hearing that this bill has everything to do with abortion. Yes, it may have something to do with abortion, but it isn't only to do with abortion, and it has nothing on the face of it, or I would say in terms of intent, that is about rolling back women's rights. What is discussed in the excellent briefing from the library um, is the fact that the Royal College of Gynaecologists and Obstetrici or Ob Obstetricians and Gynaecologists and the British Medical Association have different guidance and that the British Medical Association has suggested, um, and I'm going to quote very unusually, I'm going to quote directly, um, the BMA recommends that, suggests that even if there is no incontrovertible evidence that the fetus feels pain, the use of fetal analgesia when carrying out any procedure brackets whether an abortion or a therapeutic intervention, close brackets, on the fetus in utero may go some way in relieving the anxiety of the women and health professionals. My lords, surely if a fetus of 24, 25, 26 weeks gestation is sentient, whether the proposal is for a medical intervention or for the purposes of abortion, no one would want that fetus to suffer, including the woman carrying the fetus, whether they intend to carry that fetus to term or whether they don't wish that fetus to live. Surely nobody wants to inflict pain. If we understand at what point fetal sentience really comes into play, appropriate decisions and recommendations can be made both for medical interventions, at the moment the arrangements are only in place for spina bifida, but there are other cases of in utero interventions that should be explored. There are differences of opinion and there may be different medical judgments in terms of analgesia and um, anesthesia, precisely because the questions of the impact on the unborn child will be different. It may be necessary to use analgesia or um, anesthesia, but it may not be appropriate. But we need to understand the situation. This committee, the proposed committee, would be looking at scientific evidence. It would be helping clinicians to form views and be able better to advise uh -oh. parents and clinicians about the most appropriate way forward. The suggestion that this is simply about rolling back rights to abortion, I think, is disingenuous. And I know that from the front benches, there is considerable disagreement. I am used to being a lone voice from these Liberal Democrat benches. But nevertheless, I think that given that my party, and I believe other parties, spend a lot of time saying how important it is to have evidence-based policy making, surely setting up a committee to look at the evidence and be able to give appropriate information to parents would actually be of benefit to all.